How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here and projectors were one of those things I've always kind of wanted but didn't know where to start. I mean they even seem like they're too pricey for me but I know they exist and most of my friends have them. But it's like, ah, it's gotta be for them, maybe not for me and my budget. However, the good people at Vankyo come up with a Leisure 470. They prove that great projectors to use at home don't need to break the bank, so to speak. And I wanna thank the Vankyo people for sending me one of these for the purpose of this video. Something like this really is kind of all I ever really needed. Just something I can project up against the wall, like a garage, maybe we're outside or something like that. And we're gonna put this thing to the test uh, here uh, inside our place, just up against uh, the wall, kind of uh, behind us here. Had to do the, had to wait till the sun went down <laughs> in our town because it was too bright earlier. The sun was shining and everything. So let's uh, have a look at this and see what's going on. First of all, as far as the unboxing goes, as soon as it's out of the box, it actually comes in a little carrying case, which I think is fantastic. There's a little bit of weight behind this, yeah. and I still wouldn't trust this as far as just like, oh yeah, here it's padded. Toss it over there. Nice. No, I still wouldn't do something like that. But really, when you open it up, it has everything you're looking for, including the device itself. You even have a remote control, which is kind of handy. There is this guy, which is your HDMI. Well, yeah, there's going to be some cords in here. And then your power is your basic kind of... I know it's not called that, but it's like the PlayStation 2 power cord. It's use a manual. And this looks neat. It looks like I can even plug in some of my retro systems to it. Imagine playing Castlevania on Halloween. One of my friends did that. And really, this is it, man. This is kind of all you need. On the side here, you got your inputs, including headphones. You got a couple of HDMI sources, even a USB, even a SD card slot. That's kind of neat, right? <laughs> VGA on the back, so you can actually plug in your computer if you'd like. And also buttons. got the buttons right on top that'll uh, control exactly what you're looking so for here. So can we watch whatever we want? Uh, you can plug anything you want into this. Instead of a TV, this becomes a TV, and it blasts the image up on a wall, up on a screen, um, up on the <laughs> ceiling, I suppose. I don't know if you're supposed to angle it towards the ceiling, but maybe, maybe we'll give that a shot, too. No. All right, so <laughs> I don't have a tripod or anything, so I'm going to put it on this thing and then kind of angle it up towards the TV. That's probably not exactly what you're supposed to do. No, not the TV, the wall. If I push power, does that turn it on? Hey, okay. Turn green. I hear it warming up. And I see colors, but I also have the lens cap on. I probably want to take this off, huh? There we go. Oh, my God. Oh, all right. So, so far, so good. And here, here's our kit. Here's, here's kind of our broken couch, so you're good. I know. I think I know how to work it. Okay. Please let me. Okay, it's, it needs to focus, too, but go ahead here. What do we got? You got it, Lily? Oh, you're making it worse. Hey, look at that. Okay, see, yeah, my 13-year-old daughter, Lily, uh, just figured out how to do that without even using the instructions. And we're going we're gonna to angle it up here a little bit more. We're going to put it, man, that's not a good chair. We're going to find maybe something else taller. Maybe this shelf over here. All right, we're, we're going to tinker around with it. We'll be right back. All right, so I, I just hit the OK button, and I have my switch plugged into it, just one of the HDMI slots. And here it is, but it's still kind of eating into uh, our couch, and we want it higher up on the shelf. So we have, like, I have my, my PlayStation Classic. So for, you know, finally, finally a good reason to use the PlayStation Classic, I guess. So you can just kind of put it right there. I uh, know it's going to slide down. This is, And then right here underneath, I just saw that this has a little deal that goes down like that. So it's going to angle it up or prop it up a little bit. So if we do that... It does, it's not working that way, Lily. You, can, you can't just push the... <laughs> it's, it's, if you do that too much, you're going to end up at our neighbor's wall. <laughs> I don't think you'd like that very much. Oh, See, and what a great thing to have like at a Halloween party, just to have it like right there on the wall. I mean, it's literally just on the wall. I mean, there's my lamp. There's the stuff I usually film at. I mean, there's my workstation right there, right? <laughs> so There's a little behind the scenes factor here. There's the, the AC. Aww. What the heck? Hold up, it's dead. Uh. Here, Lily. That's just so cool because I mean, it doesn't it doesn't even have like a like screen blending or anything. It just kind of like if it's if it's a dark screen, it just shows vivid. <laughs> like now loading. Hey, there we go. <laughs> all the music is coming out of this thing. There's probably a volume control and all that on here too. Like crazy. All right, so now on the wall, we're playing uh, Mom Hid My Game. <laughs> All right, start clicking around, Lily. See if you can find your game. Oh, I can even do the shadow puppets. Ah! Yeah, click. Oh, keep, keep going through the books. Oh, there it is. Good job. Next. All right. Oh. No, can't reach it, Lily. 
Uh oh, you, you can't get, can't let your mom catch you. And right on the touch screen here, there's the M button. That'll give you uh, some options here. If you want to change the uh, color, the uh, picture mode, noise reduction, stuff like that, HDMI mode, and more. What I think is pretty neat. And then on the side, that's when you also have the. Uh, here, how do I click out of here? Okay, I guess. Mm. Perfect. And then here you have your SD uh, or your um, you know HDMI, uh, like whatever you're plugging into it. Like so, uh, right now, I have my um, Nintendo clone system plugged into it through the uh, the RGB. Play some NES now. Yeah, I'm, you know, because I had to. Yeah, this I I, I put this onto a cart just for fun. <laughs> what? What do you? Why would you say that? Uh oh. I wasn't I wasn't fast enough trying to play this one-handed here. Use the force. There we go. Anyway. <laughs> so it's cool. You can actually play your old uh, your old uh, you know console systems on here too. So, but I love that. Now this thing's been on for about half an hour or so since we've been testing it, and still still cool to the touch. A little warm, a little warm like right here, but it's not like super hot. Where other just other things that I've had and experienced, you touch them and it's super super hot. So yeah, it's not so bad, you know. Oh, I love that. I know, I love it too. Oh, what a cool thing! And like I said, easy to plug in. All you have to do is just, I plugged it in and it worked immediately. Didn't have to set up anything. A little, little tilt and scan, you know, with this thing over here. It's mine now. You know, a little, little bit of that to make sure that you're, you know, situated and ready to go. But all you have to do is just find a nice positioning placement for it and have your own little uh, drive-in movie or something like that. Mm -hmm. Right in your own living room. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, Lily? Good. No, don't be a blurry. No, I can't see it. That's the challenge mm -hmm. mode. That's the challenge mode, Lily. <laughs> if you want yours linked in the description below, and I want to thank the company again for providing one of these for the purpose of this video. And thank you for subscribing. Always got new videos on the way.